hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with Paul corruption and over here i have a very special strategy to show you guys all right this is actually um one of my new strategy that i've been making use of in the last few days now all right so over here we're making use of three indicator the first indicator i'm using is called bollinger band the second indicator is cci and the last indicator is rsi all right so the setup of my Bollinger Band come with a period of 24, the deviation is 2. On the stars over here, I make use of this color combination. I untick this middle line here. Don't forget that. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. Um, the second indicator I use is called CCI with a period of 12. On the star part here, my first color right there is actually yellow. And of course, I use a 2 pixel on the line i also make sure i change all the color right here so a one color so that's pretty much all you have to do so when you're done you hit save so my last indicator which is rsi come with a period of six on the star part here i actually take the first line and the second line to be on two pixel so that's pretty much all i do so when you're done you hit save um this strategy is actually two minute strategy and i'm on the candle time frame right here i use it on three a minute um it works really better if you use it on a higher time frame so i'm using it on three minutes and two minute trade time i'm also making use of this on henneke ashi candlestick so that's pretty much all you have to do it's an OTC strategy all right so we are doing this with an OTC market all right okay guys over here i find a moment so right now i'm going to enter a trade on this before i explain um the number one thing over here is how this strategy works so anytime you are going for a down trade number one thing is to make sure that your cci and your rsi are both in a very strong overbought condition so make sure that you have them in the very strong overbought condition and the next thing is to make sure that the boat line is actually giving you a strong downtrend just like what is happening right now make sure that your cci and your rsi are both giving you a strong downtrend all right so that's the number one thing the second thing is to make sure that you have a very strong versa with your particular candlestick all right all right so make sure that when you are placing your trade you have the candlestick trend on a very strong overbought condition with your bollinger band and the candlestick you're placing your trade on is actually giving you a strong confirmation of a downtrend i think we're in the money on that so let's check it out as you can see we're in the money on that that's a very um good one i hope you understand guys all right so there's a two way to actually trade this strategy which i'm going to show you on my next um trade so let's keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment for an up trade so right here i'm going to place a two trade on that all right so guys um this is another powerful moment so anytime you are going for an up trade um the number one thing is to always make sure that the candlestick you place your trade on is very close to the downline of your bollinger band all right it's very important that the candlestick is in a very strong oversold condition and um, the second thing is also with your cci and rsi this two needs to be doing the same thing simultaneously you need to have them in a very strong oversold condition and uh, with your cci the same thing applicable with your rsi so the board needs to be in a very strong oversold condition and not only that always make sure that you have them giving you an uptrend confirmation just like it was happening right here you see that we have them in a very strong confirmation but this boat line is also giving us a very strong uptrend confirmation all right so when do you see this in the market with this strategy you place the trade but always make sure that you're placing your trade on a reverse candlestick i hope you understand so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one Okay, we have less than I think um we have less than 14 seconds left. Let's wait and save. This is gonna be a good one in the next few seconds. A good one. When you're in that. So guys, I hope you actually understand how this works. Alright, there's another moment I would love to show if I find out in the market. So make sure you stay put. Okay, guys, over here I'm waiting for the next candlestick. You can see a very strong reversal right here, but I'm actually waiting for the next candlestick though before I enter the trade all right okay a good one here guys i'm pleasant to trade straight up so guys you can see this actually another profit and um, condition all right so the number one thing like i used to say is to always make sure that before you place your trade the candlestick reversal you're placing your trade on is very close to the downline of your bollinger band is very important make sure that you have it in a very strong oversold condition there's something applicable with your cci 
and your RSI, your CCI both line is to bridge below the downline of your CCI. The same thing applicable with your RSI and the both line is to be giving you a confirmation of an uptrend before you enter a trade. All right. Do not forget that the candlestick you're placing your trade on must be actually in a strong position, giving you a reverse position before you enter a trade. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have like 45 seconds left. All right. So you can see guys, we end the money on that. That's actually a very powerful moment. So guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. Um, but right now, I'm going to show you the position you shouldn't enter your trade on. All right. I'm going to show you fake position that you shouldn't enter your trade on, even though you're having a confirmation with your candidate. All right. This is a number one condition that you should not place a trade on. All right. So when you're finding a moment like this, where you see that the last few candles take and the position are not really strong, you can see that the last few candles taking this position are very weak. There's indecision in this particular market. And not only that, when you see that your current movement, all right, your current movement right here is not that strong. Like I said on the video, before you enter a trade, make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on, if you are going for a down trade, it's very close to the upper line of your Bollinger Band, all right? But you can see right here that this particular candlestick are just in the middle. So if you're finding something like this, do not enter a trade. It's a fake signal. Even though you're having a confirmation, with your indicators i hope you understand um another one here is this um when you're having this kind of position do not place your trade at all like i said we're only placing our trade when we have a confirmation of a trend but you can see this particular here there is no trend right here this particular two candlestick are just doji candlestick all right and in the market you cannot decide based on this particular candlestick because the decision has not been made we don't know if it's coming down or it's going to be uh, going up in the trend so when you're finding something like this a smallish candlestick or a doji candlestick like this do not place the trade. We are only taking a trade when we are having a strong uh, body candlestick, all right? We are having a very full a candlestick that we can actually see clearly that, okay, this is actually a reverse in the market. That is only when we're going to place our trade. I hope you understand. So guys, that is all you have to know about the fake uh, signal, all right? So guys, this is where I'm gonna stop on today's video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our next upload. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.